Hello everyone, this is Josie. I'm back to share some things that I'm working on that will help me downsize my stash of craft stuff. Um, this is non-paper crafting uh, shares here. I've already done some videos on my paper crafting which are um, scrapbooking kits. Uh, I believe I have one more, well actually by the time this gets up I'm not sure if it'll be up already or not, but anyways, um, I did four scrapbooking kits, so that'll be up um, on my channel, and this is going to be sewing, knitting, and crocheting, um, things that I am working on and things I'm going to work on. So, the things I am working on... Um, here's one of them. It is a shawl. I am following a tutorial from Very Pink Very Pink Knits is the uh, channel, and it's called the Skano Arabella Shawl Tutorial. So here is my. Shaw so far, and what it is is um, it makes a pattern of triangles. So the wide part is uh, is what would be laying, um, showing on your shoulders, and where the triangles end is what would be up around your neck. So. Uh, you're supposed to have 12 uh, points that are going to be the wide part of the triangle. And right now I'm on my fifth one. So there's the fifth one I'm working on. Here's one, two, so it will go like flare, flare, I guess, flare out like this. There's two, there's one, two, three, four, and five. So, so far I'm on my fifth one and I have about this much left. <laughs> um, I might be able to get six triangles out of this and I hope I do because I only have two skeins of this yarn. Um, so, that is one of the things I'm working on. The other item I'm working on is I'm still working on my daughter's uh, Minecraft uh, blanket. I have all the squares done. Now I just need to sew them together. So I have half of the blanket sewn together. And this is the mouth part of the blanket. And then I just need to do a border once that's done. And that is the other one. I'm also working on a snake scarf, which um, I am subscribed to Angie Wade, and she does very cute snake scarves so I wanted to make one of her snake scarves and she does have a little tutorial on how to do that um, on a loom a knitting loom but I'm also following Silly Fru's uh, challenge and it's a challenge that goes on through the whole year um, you it's called knit your balls challenge and uh, if you're a knitter or a crocheter, you know that a lot of us have those uh, skeins of yarn that we rolled up into a ball. Um, whether it was leftovers or because you just like working with the ball rather than a skein, which like this. <clears throat> so, um, I had mine, my yarn, caked up because I have a... 
uh, my husband had gotten me a yarn winder so it makes cakes of yarn so it looks like this so there's this the um so you can work from it here or on the inside but I ended up working um, on the outside of this one and this is less than half of the skein and on her tutorial you use an entire skein to make the scarf in here so there's the blue scarf so it's going to be a blue snake with green eyes um, that's what I'm working on right now And the last thing that I'm working on is finishing a sweater that I've been wanting and trying to make. Well, I tried to make it 2014. Didn't work out, so I abandoned it. I undid the work that I did and put it away. And at the end of last year, 2015, I... Um, went ahead and started trying to make the um, sweater again. So here's, it's a uh, brown espresso I think is what the color is. It's this espresso from Loops and Threads Charisma yarn. And I believe I've used nine skeins so far. And here's Here's the arm. It is a pretty large sweater, but it looks a lot bigger than it is because it's chunky yarn. Um, it's not regular yarn. And I didn't want to do a lot of sewing, so I made the front panel all one piece and together with the back panel. So here's the front side is done. And as you can see, there's a hole for for the head. See? And from where that yarn is hanging up, that is the back of the sweater. So when I'm done, I will only have to sew up the sides, the bottom side of the sleeve, and then the side of the sweater. That's the only sewing I will have to do. So I'm almost done with this project as well. And a project I want to do and get done pretty quickly is the New York Giants beanie for my brother. So I have the yarn. I have the colors ready to go. And the sewing projects are a cushion for my chair that I'm sitting on right now and I have the fabric for it that I had picked up at Tuesday morning a long time ago I liked the fabric but I had I didn't have a project for it and now I do so this is the fabric it's very pretty so I can't wait to do that and have it done. The other item is this I've been wanting to make for a couple of years already and I have the 100% cotton batting for my brother's blanket and I recently bought the fabric for it now I had tried to do this blanket before and last year I cut up the fabric to make a quilt and it turns out that I needed a hundred percent cotton and one of the reasons I learned myself that I needed the hundred percent cotton is that the fabric I used was a blend of polyester and cotton 
and when I cut it to the squares that I needed, the sizes I needed, um, they all turned out kind of crooked and I believe it's because the fabric stretched while I was cutting it and um, gave me crooked pieces. So there's no way to know if other than doing the entire uh, sewing of the squares or wannabe squares is the only way to know if it would actually work out. And I didn't want to have to do all that work and it, it ends up not being worth it. So, um, plus I figured the 100% cotton would be a little more durable than the polyester blend. So I picked up that and now I'm ready to go um, with that project. And I have already picked up the thread, the cotton thread for it as well. So those are my things. Oh, nope, there's one more. Uh, my intention was to make a blanket that looked just like this. Yeah. The uh, Green Bay or something like that. I'm not sure. If you know football, you know who these people are. Um, for my father-in-law, but I decided not to do the letter because it is going to take a lot of work. And it's going to take a long time, so... Um, just to show you what I did have done, and this is almost an entire skein, so as you can tell, it's not very big, um, to use over 300 yards of yarn and it only be, I think this is so far about 12 inches, um, and this would need to be like the size of a throw because that's kind of what I'm making. Um, so about 55 to 64 inch in length. And that's 12 inches. That's a lot of work for... So I, I just decided to use all three of the colors of the team, the green, the yellow, and the white, and just do um, a variation of those colors in the blanket rather than doing the letter, because that is going to take a long time and a lot of work. So that's the last project I have to share right now of what I'm working on and what I'm going to be working on. Um, so I would, I would, um, I think I'm going to make a second video af um, to show all the yarn because my other intention is to use up uh, all the yarn that I've had for a while, which it could go from a year or two back, maybe longer, maybe longer, um, but I have quite a bit of yarn as well as other paper crafting things, so I want to use up all that before the end of the year. Um, I do have projects that I am going to start, um, and I'll do another video on that with the more recent yarn that I've purchased. So I'll come back with those that video when I figure out exactly what I'm going to make so I can tell you what I'm going to do with the yarn. But I do want to make a video showing all the yarn that I need to work through um, to be done with that yarn that I've had for a while. I don't want to end up still having yarn from 10 years ago kind of thing so thank you so much for watching um, please share your ideas and inspirations for the year um, and if you do decide to do that on a video please let me know so I can watch your video I would really like to watch that um, so thank you so much for watching and commenting and I'll see you next time bye bye